In this session of assembly building, we're going to talk about swapping items. And the method we're going to use for this one is something called selected takeoff. So selected takeoff is very powerful because it's easy. It can just put you right into a particular section of the database and let you basically select what product you want to use. So let's go back to that same wall that we've been working on in some of previous sessions. And let's say that for this drywall, maybe there's multiple choices or even for like this wall sheathing there's more than one choice to be had now you could also sit there and say there's more choices for you know studs and plate material and things of that nature these i'm going to deal with with item table probably because there's so uh because there's a consistency here so if i have stud size you know i can use it for all three so most of the time where i like to select the takeoff is where you know, this item may not necessarily relate with any other item, so it's just nice to be able to pick, you know, what sheathing do I want or what drywall do I want, that type of thing. So I could right-hand click on that line and say, use select to take off. I could also go over here to insert and say, select to take off. So either way would get me started. I'm gonna go off this method just because there's a few other things that this is more manual. So that way it would automatically, uh, you know, what item, know what item my default was if I did it up here. So when I say select to take off, it gives me this line. So I can replace this to what are they supposed to be selecting? Select the wall sheathing. Now, if I left this like this, when it throws them to the database, it would start at general conditions or whatever the top of your database is. In this case, I don't want to start with the top of the database. I want to kind of start with the same vicinity of where wall sheathing was in my database. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say I want to set the default selection. Apparently, I've got my database sorting by uniform at the moment. So I'm going to say I want to sort it by phase and item. And that's going to be located where? That is wood. And let's say wall sheathing. And maybe I'm just going to start it off with, um, I don't really care, that one. And then I'm going to come back to my wall sheathing calculation. And I'm going to basically uh, copy this formula so I can take it down below. And for right now, I'll say that that's how I calculate the quantity. So in essence, if I click on this line, I can actually move it in change the order up. So this line, this new one I just created, really replaces this other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that now that I've got everything set up for it. And let's just take a break here and see what that does. So I'm gonna say, okay, to accept it, close. I'm gonna pull up that assembly. It's gonna ask me all the same questions it did in the last session. So it's 100 foot long, 16 inches on center. Sheathing is going to have to be required to get it to see show up. Uh, or matter of fact, maybe I'll do the no the first time. So I'm gonna say sheathing is not required and uh don't need that and enough four rates fine there so if you notice i said sheathing was not required so it didn't get a quantity it doesn't really have a description of what it's it's dealing with so that basically had the if statement in the calculation kind of reject the whole line so it didn't really do anything else so i'm going to hit undo here to undo my quantity so i could run through it again this time i am going to say that i've got some sheathing associated with this wall and when I get done with the questions, you're gonna now notice, here's the description that I typed in, selecting, or I should have said select. So I put in selecting, apparently, wall sheathing. So now I can sit there and look at this list and I can pick anything that I wanted to. So if I wanna put, you know, three quarter OSB in there for some reason, when I click on it, that's what I'm gonna get. If I had to run another pass, so let's say I got a 50 foot section here that actually has a um, half inch. So each time I run through, it's gonna basically just add additional lines if the product's not already in the list. If the product was already in the list, it would just increase this quantity by uh, whatever that additional pass needed. But that's a very easy and powerful way to add flexibility in there. So we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more with that um, drywall. So I'm gonna say edit assembly. Now, last time I went up to insert, select to take off and so forth. And I'm also gonna say, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the ING on here. Select wall sheathing. This time I'm gonna do a little different. So there's the uh, drywall that I wanna also have a drop down list for. So I'm gonna right click on that line. And I'm gonna say that I want to select a takeoff. 
so that way it just drops it in there. So it's about the exact same look. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, this is how you get your items in there. If you're just putting in the individual items or this is where we're going to go later for item tables. So it's just more consistent if I want to. So I'm going to say, um, select drywall. Maybe I'll spell that different too. Okay, let's say set the default selection. That's going to be down in finishes. That's going to be in some boards and sheathing. And there again, don't really care. So I'm just going to start off with that one. And then I'm going to come back and steal the formula that we're using there. And copy and paste that formula in. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it up above my finish and delete out the extra line that's just the one individual line item. So now it's going to basically ask me for, you know, throw me to the database, let me select a drywall, uh, and also let me select my wall sheathing. So if I said accept that and close it up, run it, sheathing required, yes, sheetrock size. So there's my question about select my wall sheathing. So I can go through and say, uh, uh, maybe I got uh, this one here I haven't used for a while. And let's say my drywall is going to be, uh, I don't know, let's just say some water resistant uh, for some reason. So that's how you can actually have different items. So those items could have different prices, different productivities, a very powerful way, an easy way of allowing you to, uh, the user that's running the assembly to just select what's needed and automatically calculate the new price and, and so forth related with it. And that concludes... Um, Select the takeoff for item swapping. Thank you.